right, welcome back to the For You podcast. Today, I got my good friend, Jack or Wacky. How What's are you? good? How are you, Wacky? Dude, right now, I mean, realistically, I'm good right now. It's Friday. It's like Friday is like the best day of the week for me. I mean, I think it's the best day of the week for everybody, but like I work Monday through Friday. So like this is like my best day of the week. And then I always have weekends off usually. Like, I mean, every 12 weeks I have to do weekends or whatever, but, um, but no, dude, like I'm super happy right now. Um, in general, like things have been, it's been, it's been a grind past couple of months have been like just an actual grind, just focusing on all my stuff, you know, TikTok, the streams and stuff and trying to get like Twitch partner and stuff. Um, it's been a grind, but today has been good. It's, it's been a good day. Hopefully your day has been good too. Yes, it has. Took a good nap uh, in, pre- in preparation for this, but uh, dude, nice. The Twitch partner grind. Uh, how is how how is that, and how close uh, statistically are you, and how close in your mind do you think that is? Um, right now, I uh, I mean, I was okay. So the first time I got to apply for Twitch partner was July eighteenth or July eighteenth. Um, was like right when I hit the 75 average viewer like mark to like actually be able to apply. And of course, you know, hitting that mark, I went ahead and applied for it. Um, I, you know, put down a nice description, whatever, applied for it. And then August 20th was the day I heard back, got the email saying I was declined uh, my first time, which I've heard from a lot of people that your first time you do get declined, um, depending on like, you know, how your past has been with your past streams. Um, So I obviously like I was bummed, right? I mean, everybody, you know, if you got to apply, like I was very, I mean, I'm thankful I ever got to apply, you know what I mean? But, um, I got declined and then I waited three weeks, which was, you know, August 20th, three weeks was September 11th. And so I got to apply then. So now it's August or wait, September 11th. Now it's October 2nd. (laughs) And, uh, now I'm just kind of patiently waiting. Uh, in my mind, I've, done a lot better this time than that time around um i was uh i mean statistics what's i mean we can get into statistics, that word not gonna say that but um <laughs> at the time i was averaging when i that july 18th through august 20th i was averaging like 93 viewers and now i'm averaging like over 100 now and uh i think i, I don't know i think this time i don't want to hide myself up but i think i might have a good shot this time but I'm just kind of being patient and uh, it's definitely stressful. Like, yeah. cause it's like my, it's like my big goal right now is to get that Twitch partner and like getting that will unlock so many things like for different brands and just for myself personally, like I don't have to worry about that anymore, you know, but um, yeah, it's a grind. It's a, it's the big, the biggest content grind of all time for any mm-hmm. content creator. It's insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As a, I think I think we just hit a twelve month uh, sub resub in your in your chat. Hey, let's um, go! I that's what's up. I've seen, I've seen it all. I've seen dude becoming like from that. I'm pretty sure from I remember where like I was and everything. Uh, I was just laying in my girlfriend's bed and you were streaming, and I I would go into your sh- your chat all the time like. And I just one day I subbed. Um, we had been homies for a while, but yeah. Uh, the the way that your channel has, your Twitch channel has improved, um, like numbers wise, it, it's really. Uh, I'm really glad to say that you've always been the same person, and I've been. Thank you. I've been. I don't know about homies, but like I've been yeah close to people with right who who, uh, who have a kind of surge in in views and likes and stuff like that, and they're not the same person. We've all yeah. seen it, um, and I can one hundred and ten percent confidently say that you have stuck with the same homies you've stuck with. I mean, yeah, you you're able to meet new people and you have new friends, but for sure at no time was there any sort of abandonment of your friend group which is incredible uh i love nuts yeah i love to see that um Mm. and you know you have you have friends who i think it's really important that 
your friends around you, um, especially Party, he's been yeah incredible on TikTok. <laughs> and, oh my gosh! And um, like with the Phase Five, he did yeah uh, he did oh an amazing my job, amazing. He job. did literally, and, bro. Yeah, it's it's great. Like, it's, go ahead. No, you're good. I was gonna, I was gonna talk about him. I, I know it's like about me right now, but uh, briefly about him. Like, I told him to get on TikTok. I was like, dude, mm-hmm. like you gotta get on it. He posted one tick, like zombie TikTok. He got like, or Call of Duty zombies TikTok. Got like eight hundred thousand views, and he started getting into like, des- like designing and stuff, like clothing design. And I was like, dude, you gotta like implement that into TikTok. And he started getting at it. And that Phase Five video, I think it has like what is like I don't know, like four million, six million views or something, over a million likes now. Mm-hmm. it's like i've never had a video do that well by the way for me personally <laughs> so just like seeing him do that is like pretty uh motivating for me to like work harder and stuff but he's a, he's he works pretty hard now i've i've been friends with party for um over five years now i what i wait five years yeah about about four or five years uh we were following each other for a while and because he joined a bunch of teams that um, I was going for like zero and stuff and he was friends with like days and friends with, uh, the other people in that group. And, uh, there was like one day, I don't know. I tweeted out something about like, like vaping or something. I don't know. It was stupid. <laughs> and, uh, he DM me like freaking out, like, cause he like vaped too or something. I don't know. And, uh, like we started talking ever since then it was, uh, we were in like zero together. We were in myth together and, um, and now he's doing his own thing he's uh you know doing all that stuff but we've been friends for a while and like in days too i've been friends with him for a pretty long time too about probably a little bit longer um because we both met um in Vale, and uh then he blew up the man that cannot stack yeah Yeah, oh boy i don't don't know if you can see it but i get the the myth game oh dude (laughs) dude, no it's in the background of every dude i would I don't have my arrow one up anymore, dude. It's it used to be over there. I don't have it. I'm gonna grab it. I think I got it right here. Hold on. I'm gonna grab it real quick. Hey, I still got it. The arrow one. Let's go. Classic. Number ten. Wacky. Dude, number ten. It's my well my my favorite number of all time is uh five hundred and ten. Cause that's like my my old YouTube used to yeah. be wacky five one zero. Yeah. So like that's that. like if I were to pick a number, that's my favorite number. But if I can only pick like two numbers, like put together, it'd be ten, probably. Um, five hundred ten yeah, is so weird to put. Together. I know, dude. Well, because it's like May, so like the fifth month May, and then my day, my birthday, the tenth May tenth. Yeah. So it's like five ten. That's oh. why it's my mom. My mom gave me my mom gave me the idea, uh, back then. 2008 um, <laughs> i i'd like to say like how proud how like of how far you've come and i'll uh continue to say that oh uh, yeah is, thanks man what is like the most important piece of advice you could give someone who's uh, close to or in the same position that you were uh like a year ago back then I mean, this is advice that I think a lot of people give, but it's like, it's like, it's a pretty big advice, but some people will like kind of hear it through one ear and out the other. Well, some people will, some people will actually, you know, take it into consideration with content. But, um, I would say like, get yourself out there on other platforms. Like, um, what was it? Uh, like March or I think it was March, like March of 2018, um, I started posting on uh, Instagram and the reason why I started doing that is because I saw other people doing it in the COD space where they were taking, you know, a sniping clip, you know, putting like big text, uh, like big, like two big white bars, text, and then gameplay t- like text at the bottom. Sometimes yeah. um, I started seeing people do that. And I was like, and they were like pulling like crazy viewers. And I was like, dude, like I, I-, I didn't hop on this. So I started posting clips too. And I, uh, I started growing that and then I, I had some videos uh back like a year ago do pretty well. Um my most viewed Instagram video was 170,000 views and like over like wow. 10,000 likes. It got it got on the explore page really well. Actually, I had a couple of videos do that well too. Um but yeah, like I didn't see anybody in like my, my like our space posting on Instagram and so I just started doing it and in one year, just from having like zero followers, I got over fifteen thousand. 
just by, you know, talking to people, networking with people and just meeting people. Like a lot of people on Instagram, I'm like really good friends with now um, that I met through there. Um, and they still support me and we still kind of support each other and stuff. Um, but yeah, like the number one piece of advice is just like get yourself out there. Like with uh, on other platforms like Instagram, like Facebook's also a pretty good one. A lot of people don't really take advantage of Facebook uh, and what it can offer. Um, obviously like TikTok, of course, like, is the big one. Um, you know, YouTube and all those other ones and stuff. But yeah, definitely like posting on other platforms is like the way to really, really get yourself out there more with whatever you're doing. So yeah, you're the you're the exact reason that I posted my first TikTok, that I posted my first or I even made an Instagram for for what I'm doing here. Yeah. And I made my Instagram back in February. And since February to now, uh we just hit three thousand followers yesterday. So like Good stuff. I awesome, man. I really am trying to like you know, I, I respond to every single DM if, if someone's saying something. Same here. Like I still do it. Yeah, and I, I will continue to do it because if if they're taking the time, you know, just even send that DM and, like, say, right. s- say something nice, um, I will always respond and stuff. Oh, for sure. I get countless of DMs every day, and it's it ranges from – day 11 of wanting to play with wacky with mm-hmm. cod and i feel so bad because like i would do that i'd re- you know i play with everybody that way but i usually just tell them like yo i stream you know like basically every single day i'm always playing with people you know come pull up one day but i get dms like that and then like the nice like dms like hey you know thank you for this thank you for that and i i love for like re- like seeing like that like red like one or two or three up up in the top right oh, yeah. like i don't know it's just it's just a rush because you don't know what the, you don't know what it is mm-hmm. um so I just, I don't know. I just like reading. I like reading DMs and responding to, um, no matter what they are, but no, Instagram is a good one. I think more people should take advantage of it. Was there any, um, did you, did you tell people this is what you wanted to do if they ever asked or, or if, you, if people knew, was there any ever like stigma or kind of just this un willingness to understand why as in like yeah. like uh wanting to do this for like a like a living basically yeah um i mean i was like as in like if i was pretty open about it um like my family is uh pretty supportive i mean recently with i know a lot of the growth happening um i've talked to my family and i was like you know like there's comes there comes a point where i'm you know i might have to you know do this full time um, cause I, you know, I won't have, you know, time for, um, I mean, if you don't know, I, I still work a part-time job, yeah. obviously like I said in the beginning, um, I work from seven in the morning till one thirty PM every single day, except, uh, except the weekends. Um, but like, it, it doesn't seem like that much time, but like being at work and not being able to take advantage of like other, you know, like getting content on there, especially like call of duty updates. Like I'm always pretty late to mm. posting about like the new weapons or about the new season. Um, but I've been working from home for the past, you know, since April. And, uh, and it's definitely like it, it being home and being able to hop on my computer real quick. I, there's literally been times where I've taken my whole lunch break just to make, tiktok videos like literally sit down record it edit it and post it in like less than half hour um and uh but yeah like my family has been pretty open i've been pretty open to my family about it and my mom even told me that i could go full-time with this stuff um but there's just something in my mind telling me like i can't do it yet like i gotta i gotta give it time to really like know like this is like gonna keep going you know because like not saying that's going to happen, but like, you know, there's some people where they get like, you know, exponential growth and then just dips. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want that dip to happen. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. If I were to like go full time, which I mean, wouldn't be a problem. Like I would just put on my two weeks and maybe try and get it back or try to, excuse me, try to work at the same place. But um, like with just content in general, even back in high school, I was pretty open about it. A lot of people knew that I made YouTube videos. I played Call of Duty um, and all that stuff. Like I was really open and um, I've always wanted to do this content stuff. Well, for the past couple of years I have been, um, but yeah, I've, I've been pretty open about all this stuff and 
people supported it. Some people, obviously, like there's people that hate to hate and um, that the hate comments, like, I don't really care. Like you're watching my stuff. Like that's pretty dope. Um, but yeah, th- I've always been pretty open about it. I would say so. Yeah. I, I agree that, that people just really hate to hate. And, it's dumb. Um, do you, do you live in a small town? I know you, I, or... um, I do. So I, I mean, I've been pretty open about exactly where I live. So I live in Utah. I live in Northern Utah. So yeah, I, uh, I live, so yeah, I live in Ogden, which is a uh, city in Utah, Northern Utah. It's like 40 minutes away from Salt Lake city. Um, it has like over 90,000 people. And I live a, like, um, I mean, I don't want to get exact, but I live in a small <laughs> town. Out, I live in a small town outside of it, but it's still considered that like i'm still considered living in that city um but it's a a very small town but my high school um our graduating class had over 500 people the high school itself would have over 2,000 people because it's a mix of different smaller cities that are next to each other um but uh it was a small town i didn't have my my neighbors are older i don't have like any like i didn't have any neighbors that were my age except for like maybe a couple people but they weren't like the people i was really into um but uh yeah i mean i none of the kids that i lived near growing up like wasn't really into all this either um except for like uh th- there was a summer like a couple years ago literally th- it's like these uh kids down the street where we literally all hang out like every day in the summertime like at night and uh, i would drive my four-wheeler down to their house that's like how that's like how country it is where i am <laughs> is that my my transportation was literally a four-wheeler and i drove it so much that the tires literally got bald because i drove it so much on the road um but i would hang out with them literally every single day in the summer and uh it was like uh, i think my uh what was it i was like eighth or it was i think it was ninth grade um i would, like i said like every summer i'd go hang out uh or like uh, that that one summer i would just always be down there um and uh one of my homies back then he was into gaming and stuff and uh he kind of caught he kind of got me more into um call duty and like fps games and stuff like that um but yeah no i've i've always lived here i've lived here for um like 15 years before here i've lived all over because my dad was ex-military um he before here we lived in new jersey for a couple of years and then before that, I think I was in Virginia. I was actually born in Virginia, but I think we're there. Um, it, we were either there or we were in Japan still for a year and a half. Um, but uh, yeah, and I've lived here for basically my whole life. So um, it's been it's been it's been dope. I don't know. I like living here. I guess sometimes, except for the people. <laughs> but we won't get into that. But a lot of, uh, I mean, not a ton, but I see I see it. Uh, quite a bit where gamers uh or people interested in games have uh ex-military like yeah I, I know rem wait no not rem uh who is it there's there was someone trip yeah trip i think trip is yeah trip trips one of them i, I yeah i want to say rem just lived in japan but yeah i don't i don't yeah, know I there, so. but i i yeah. know that there is a lot of uh gamers who who have ex-military yeah uh, my dad yeah, my dad was in for a while yeah my dad was ex um air force nice yeah and then yeah other so, things but yeah that's sick uh i we never had to move around or anything but it's still cool yeah to, i moved like three or four different times and my dad's lived all over um but uh it was definitely like interesting but i don't know like li- like especially our first couple of years here, like the people, like we weren't really, cause you know, Utah is Utah, you know, um, uh, I won't get too much into it, but, uh, the people were just very different here than they were like out East, like very, very different. Um, and like their, the way they, you know, their beliefs and what they think and mm-hmm. all that stuff. So like, you know, I don't know. I don't get into it, but yeah, it was definitely interesting, but I've lived here and I'm, I've adapted. I know how people are here now. And people don't drive very well here. That's like the one thing they don't know how to drive. Um, but yeah, it's definitely interesting living here for sure. Yeah, I you know I live in Iowa, and yeah, there's not a lot of updated 
culture, I guess, in a way. Yeah. Uh, people, we had a, a kid who lives down the street had, he had a viral TikTok go, it went absolutely crazy. It had like three million, Dude. three million likes, like 23, Dang. 23 million views. Dang. He had over uh, like a, he had 190,000 followers and he essentially got bullied into deleting he deleted his tiktok account <laughs> what because okay. because people just People's didn't know they don't they don't understand and yeah uh same way here it's if if they know that you do something like pretty not when i when i was really really heavy into uploading youtube videos no one really knew like only my my friends knew but like as i got yeah into high school and stuff like that like i was more open about it um yeah yeah pro just about three years ago is is when i when i took a break um and then once i got back into it i was like wh why do i care about what what people think like it's my life right it's what i want to do like why would i hide Dude, a passion like for it's real i'm the same way man yeah. i think any i think most everybody's the same way but i've like like talking before like i've always been like i've always been pretty open about it and uh and i mean like obviously like i wouldn't like go around like saying it all the time but yeah. if people asked like what i was into like i'd be like yeah i'm you know i love playing video games i love streaming i love this and that and it's dope for sure yeah there there was like us there was kind of like at at one point there was a ton of people who who really liked it that yeah. liked liked what I did um but it wasn't until after it was post Fortnite it was when everyone mm. you know cuz there was that big surge of of people like we saw we saw Ninja play with Drake right oh my gosh and i once, remember that and once drake gets into video games like that then everyone's into video games yeah i think video video games are becoming really normalized now especially after the you know after what's been going on in the world you know the coronavirus but um mm -hmm. a lot of people um are starting to get into video games you know what i mean like they don't have nothing to do like you know they're at home and you know they're kind of obviously like back when it was quarantine a lot of people had nothing to do so they just you know result you know go to video games so i think a lot more recently i've noticed um video games and just streaming in itself i've noticed like a lot of people are starting to really really get up there and i was even talking to a party like off stream and off cameras and stuff like dude like without this virus that happened like even though it's a you know very deadly um and it's killed you know over a million people like i don't think i would ever be here without the virus happening like i don't think i would at all i think i would still be i mean maybe i wouldn't be at the same spot i was you know a year ago but i would definitely be very like a lot closer to that than where i am now like this virus and um even people in my stream have told me like dude without this virus i would not be here without you and uh i'm like it's just crazy to think about like i don't know how all how everything can change and stuff um but yeah yeah i i was gonna ask you how you thought that played a part in like the way that things are now for you um but for sure i don't i don't want you because i feel like maybe there's like a like a step or like you're trying you're walking on like eggshells here like try not to say yeah anything try not to say anything that's like no you're good but i i yeah i think it's just looking at a negative and turning it into a positive i don't i don't really for think, sure think you're 100 thinking, thinking of it as a good situation it's just what else can you do at this point you know yeah for sure no nah, and uh i'm working i've been working from home too um ever since uh april was when i started working from home and that was definitely i i with my job um so if you don't know, I mean, you probably know, but for people listening, I, I work for a bank, but I work on, uh, my, my position is called help desk. So it's like a step below like the IT side of things. Um, and, uh, I've been doing that for, um, a little over a little over a year now. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome job, but, I I never thought I'd ever go work at home. Like even, I would have thought I would still be in the office, um, 
working from home or still being in the office like, during this situation. But I'm I, at the same time, I'm very blessed that I got to, you know, I'm still working from home. But at the same time, I'd like to go back because I, I like the atmosphere a lot more. Um, but working from home has definitely helped a lot with making content. I've been able to uh, render videos while I'm at home. I could literally wake up uh, for work, hop on my computer, rent, start the render on the video, and then work for a little bit and then come back to my computer, step away for a second, come back to this computer and then check to see if it's done. Um, I've been able to make TikToks in my lunch break and this and that. So like working from home has definitely been like, I've, I've been super thankful, but at the same time, it's definitely been super, super tough because everybody at my job has been working from home and that's over 3000 people. And the work home system is just not great. And it sucks how it's that way. But, um, but yeah, overall, this virus has definitely been very uplifting for my, uh, for my content for sure. So, yeah. um, where where do you see the future for you is it is it in call of duty is do you want it to be in call of duty do you do you want to be able to do anything or do variety um i would say i mean i still like call of duty and what's awesome about modern warfare and what the difference between modern warfare and black ops 4 is like night and day um Black Ops 4 sucked. I hated playing the game on PC because I was stuck on PC still. If I were to move to console, I probably would have been okay. But I did not like Black Ops 4, which I think reflected in my content. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't uploading the new game. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't uploading Black Ops 4. Um, but when Modern Warfare came around, Modern Warfare is is very, very well well optimized now. Um, and uh, it's cross-play. So it makes, it makes like playing with people like um, a lot better. Uh, and like being able to play with like anybody who watches my streams, you know what I mean? Like that's the beautiful part about Modern Warfare is being able to interact. Um, it really gives you that freedom. And Black Ops 4, you can only play with people on that platform you're on. Um, so the future for me, I definitely want to do more Call of Duty. Um, I want to get into Cold War, obviously. The I mean, as of right now, the beta comes out uh, next weekend, uh, which is pretty awesome. Or the open, uh, the open beta next week. Um, so I definitely want to get into, you know, obviously I want to do Cold War content, of course. Um, and then I do after, and I've been telling my stream this literally, um, after tw if Twitch Partner does happen, I have to, you know, uh, I have to state that if it, if it happens, um, I want to get into variety games. But not every day, though. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe, like, I'll stream my main game and then maybe switch to a different game um, or just take one day out of the week where I do variety games. Um, but I do want to do uh variety games like uh especially like battlefield apex legends among us has been a really big one um variety call of duties as well yeah. i've been wanting to do also um but yeah that's kind of how i want to shift my content in the next couple months or next year i should say so yeah i see a lot of um i every time you're live i i chill on your stream i see a lot of people wanting among us uh, yeah I, I, yes. it's been a it's been a hot ask like it's every stream like wacky have you played among us wacky uh you should stream among us wacky among us like it's it's definitely been a big like ask and then once fall guys was uh getting big i was getting asked to do a lot of fall guys and stuff mm -hmm. um but uh i mean i like the last variety game i did stream was fall guys and i did it was pretty consistent the whole time and then uh another big thing a couple months ago i did my first uh sponsor stream for uh the notorious raid shadow legends um dude the crazy story about that i, I want to tell the story but like um i was on stream i was randomly i said um the day that my content or like the day that i peak in content creation is the day i got a raid shadow legends email and literally a couple of days after i refreshed my email and it's right there. Like, yo, the people from Rachel Legends do the stream. And uh, that was definitely interesting. And I was like, I never thought that ever happened. But um, it was like a little something I did. It was like the the one time thing I did. So how was how was that experience? Was that 
happened? Were they... it, it was good. Um, surprisingly, we had 45 downloads, uh, which they went based off of downloads. You had to like reach certain goals. Mm -hmm. Um, we got 45 downloads out of the 60 that they well, they didn't want 60, but like, um, that was like the stretch is what they uh they wanted to see. So we got we had like 45 downloads, which was crazy because I mean I'm a I do Call of Duty now, um, and I've I did Call of Duty before. Um, and just being able to do that one stream where people were supporting me and uh, were watching, you know, Raid Shadow Legends, you know, whatever. Um, it was a pretty cool experience. And uh, hopefully I can do more streams like that in the future because um, it was uh, it was definitely pretty cool. And the people that were doing that were really nice, too. Um, it, it, it was pretty crazy to be able to do something like that. So uh, walk us through the process of finally getting the ultimate gamer goal of the g fuel sponsorship oh man how, how the did, g fuel yeah how did that come about and, and... so i don't want to assume things but i would say how i thought it went down and this is just me assuming how i thought it went down was um one of the uh partnership managers who's my guy now uh d quads um he tweeted out a he was kind of like, we're looking for G Fuel guys. Like, we're looking for people to partner with people. Um, and so I replied to the tweet with this long thought out message like, yo, I've been, you know, I'm on these platforms. I'm on TikTok. I think I have like over 120,000 followers at the time. And uh, I was like, yo, I mean, I've been a fan of G Fuel for years and years and years now. And uh, this and that and kind of explained myself. And I got a lot of vouchers on the tweet. I got a lot of people that liked it and retweeted and stuff. And uh, I was at work one day. It was like uh, early in the afternoon. And I got a DM. And it was like, hey, we were interested in working with you. And I was like, mm -hmm. and I, I had like fucking, I had like, I like run my eyes, dude. I was like, wait, what? And so, uh, yeah, no, I've, I've been with G Fuel for um, June, July. I've been with them for almost, I think, yeah, over four months now. It's been a really long time um and just being able to work with a company that you've supported for such a long time is is, is pretty uh, surreal <laughs> um and obviously like uh yeah no that so yeah i basically replied to that tweet and have been working with them since i actually do a lot of people don't know this um but i post on so g fuel has actually two tiktoks they have their main page where they post like, you know, kind of like the, the skits and stuff of, you know, about G fuel. And then they have a gaming page, which is I uh, at G fuel gaming. And I post on both those pages. Um, every single week I post on the gaming one every Saturday and I post on the main G fuel page every Tuesday. Um, and I got, uh, and that was like one thing they wanted me to do, work with them with is being able to, uh, provide content for both of those pages. And, uh, well, actually, more recently, I started doing the main page, but I've been doing the gaming page for um, a couple of months now uh, at this point. And uh, I've been working with uh, those guys and providing content on those uh, pages and stuff. So, yeah, no, being able to work with G Fuel has been surreal. And the amount of people who are with G Fuel now, like partnered with them, yeah. is like the amount of people now. I mean, we have PewDiePie, XQC, David Dobrik. Um, who else do we have? There's so many more. Uh, people you can you can you could probably name your biggest creator oh yeah uh summit 1g another big guy that uh is with g fuel now so like roman, it is roman atwood too roman yeah it's his own flavor yeah bomb yeah. i think was this or is his flavor i think yeah. it's, I, I think, think it's, it's still inspired by him yeah um like literally name everybody anybody and they're probably with g fuel um it is a very big family and it's it's smart i i'm i'm like it's just i don't know it's, it's a smart thing to do and I, don't know, I just i love the family um and they've provided me with a lot of stuff and i'm very 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 thankful um to be able to work with them so it really shows a lot about them too because you know they had they had phase or I'm phase pretty, two yeah yeah they have phase um, and it was only phase at one point it yeah. was literally just phase as their partner like they you know they worked a lot and they still work a lot with phase but at one point it was literally just phase that worked with g fuel and now it's like i remember like the little black tubs that they had that like you know had like you know the the old label on it um 
and like just seeing it evolve from like that to like you know what it is now yeah. and like all these big creators is is pretty surreal yeah. um like like yeah uh i don't that's, a lot of people don't remember the black tubs um yeah they don't i don't i wish i had one i used to have one i, I um, used to have a and i think I, actually i think i might still have them but uh but yeah i don't think any of their tubs are white anymore i think it's or not our are, are, are black they're all uh the white tubs now i think maybe for exception of like the blackberry i think or something but mm -hmm. um but yeah no i've i've been sporting g fuel for a pretty long time back at le it's been at least since like 2014 is is uh when i got blue ice was my first flavor is what i got from them um but yeah it's it's pretty surreal to work with them i'm i'm very very thankful that's so. actually my my first like like person i became friends with that i watched was uh sandro and we mm. we became friends because we were both looking for nuda on omegle <laughs> and i and i did the g fuel challenge for him i was like i see you on twitter all the time and you can't stack oh uh, and then i did the g fuel challenge and that's how we i am a friends. pro at the g fuel challenge Dude, it I, is i have disgusting done how good i am at it um i do it with strawberry banana and i literally just down it it's like eating candy um yeah it, no, I'm I'm very thankful. I'm I'm very blessed to be able to work with them. So yeah, it's crazy how you know they could they can have you know phase. They could pretty much have anyone in, for real. And they they got David Dobrik. Like yeah. dude, they, I don't I don't think it gets any better than and then having David Dobrik, PewDiePie, and all those guys. Like I I don't I mean like who else could they really get now? You know what I mean like I I've been kind of thinking like you know who's not with G Fuel that they could really get? You know what I mean? But yeah. they really do have like the big creators and stuff now you know mm -hmm. um it's it's revolutionizing for real like d name any other drink company name any other product um that does something like g fuel does you know what i mean but you, you really can't i mean no nah, maybe like like tech companies like you know steel series or hyper x this mm -hmm. and that razor whatever but, but g fuel has definitely changed the game but at the same time like even with steel series as as great as of social media presence and TikTok presence as they have. Yeah. I, I give a lot of praise to uh, Steel Series. So serious. Me too, man. There I think I think what what um what makes like, you know, good pro like you could you could have a really really good product and it not really get a lot of people to purchase it, but what makes it what like makes those companies like thrive is like having that social presence. Mm -hmm. And I think what really started driving that was like how Wendy's used to joke around mm -hmm. on social media yeah. and they kind of made it normal for other companies to do things like that. Like uh, I also look at uh respawn chairs, um, yeah. their social media, their Twitter account is, you know, it's not always, you know, super strict. Like, you know, this, like always talking about, they always talk about their products, of course, but it's not always like super strict. Like, you know what I mean? And uh, with Steel Series, I, I really like. Um, I've actually never tried a Steel Series product before, um, but I I hope to soon. And the reason why is because of their social media presence, like you said, mm -hmm. um, is uh, their TikTok guy. I uh, he's pretty cool. I, I've talked to him a couple of times, um, but I uh, I think that what ma that's that's what makes or breaks. You know, getting those extra you know people to support the company and stuff is the social media presence um especially now mm -hmm. for sure it, especially with tiktok i see respawn on tiktok yeah um, them too but i think with the difference between all these other companies that do you know keyboard like the keyboards the mice yeah um, they have competitors it's g fuel just doesn't like they're they too don't. they're too established like any other thing like with with putting something into your body like not all the time unless someone who's been there before is backing it and telling you yeah. that it's good and telling you that it's safe like there's no other reason than to go with g fuel like you see for sure you see these other i mean there's smaller companies who try to do the same thing that to target gamers target people who who do the same thing like like us but like G Fuel already has it where they've targeted the gamers. They've targeted everything in between to the point yeah. where they, they have a David Dobrik. They have Roman Atwood. They have, yeah. I mean, PewDiePie is still a gamer, but he's the largest creator on the entire platform. Like, yeah, there is no, it's heavy. 
there is no beating that. Like, no, no way. Unless there's no way. Unless you have the most amount of money in the world to 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 somehow get some of these creators away from yeah. it. Yeah. Like there's yeah. Ju- there's just no nah, beating. There isn't an, an established no, thing like no that. another drink. No any other drink, energy drink company will ever. I, I don't know. I um G Fuel definitely does it right for sure. Yeah, for sure. And I I know Mountain Dew has like Mountain Dew has courage. Um, yeah, and they have like other people on that side, but uh, at the same time, it's like it, the the great thing about G Fuel and me being uh, diabetic, like I yeah, I, I don't have to worry about like it has zero carbs in it. It's just water, and you do it, and that's yeah, literally why it's really awesome. That's why I wanted it. That's because yeah, zero zero car. I mean yeah, zero carbs, zero sugar. Um, some have, you know, I mean, obviously it's like low calories and stuff too. So, uh, it's like just the best of all these worlds that are with G fueled stuff for mm-hmm. sure. It's a yeah. lot safer. I heavily, like, I know I'm sponsored, but even before I was sponsored, if anybody asks like, like what energy drink do I drink? G fuel is always, I, I've always said it for years and years now. It's just cause of how, like how many flavors there are, how much healthier it is and uh all that stuff so even i'll i'll say it for you i i recommend yeah g fuel i'm not sponsored i recommend it yeah um, highly it's it's a great alternative for uh if you're trying to get off coffee in the morning or something like that like that's what i do uh most mornings when i need to uh, pick me up i i'll just yeah. mix up a g fuel and yeah, those like those like coffee and stuff like that gives you like a like gives you a buzz. But with G Fuel, it like obviously for me it, it energizes me, but it keeps me focused. Like mm-hmm. when I drink it, I'm more focused rather than like you know you know like buzzing around, jumping off my walls and stuff. Um, I'm I'm more focused and uh, can keep my train of thought. Obviously, um, that's why I like that's that's why I like obviously drinking it is. Um, not because it makes me bounce off the walls or whatever, but it's more so like staying focused. And that's, that's the thing. That's what they're, you know, obviously it's what they've been trying to do, you know? Yeah. I, I also feel like not necessarily, I don't really drink a ton of coffee if any at all. Um, but with regular like canned energy drinks, I feel a hard crash. Um, Yeah. And it's not, I don't want to be drinking um you know four energy drinks a day just to get through a day like yeah something crazy like that where it's already unhealthy like um with g fuel i, I don't feel i don't feel a a terrible crash like a, there's not a point in the day where yep. i'm just like oh my god like i'm like yeah same here it's just it's just better i i don't i don't necessarily know the like statistics behind it but in my opinion it is I feel like just 100% better than for, for sure for you uh, and, and everything else. And the, I feel like there's a, flavor, there's a flavor for everyone. hundred percent. At least yeah. one. I mean, for me, there's oh, for a sure. lot, but they even have like coffee flavors now. Yeah. Like for people like, you know, to get pe- you know, to get people away from that, there's like a, a like a French vanilla, like a coffee flavor now. Mm-hmm. Um, which is, I mean, and there's like a moon pie. They did a collab with moon pie. The tubs, yeah. uh, it's right there. That's the moon pie. They did a collab crazy. with moon pie, which is pretty crazy. I mean, moon pie is a, you know, the, a, a, you know, dessert snack or whatever. And being able to do stuff like that. And they obviously did the Sonic peach rings, which is, I believe it's that one right there. Mm-hmm. It's right, oh, it's right. That one, I think. Yeah, whatever. But <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite flavors now is peach rings. So they've definitely revolutionized like, like you know just energy drinks in general it's pretty dope sure um who who's a i know you talk about xqc a lot um he's one of your your favorite streamers i don't want to put words in your mouth for sure but I, no I, you're good i literally heard that yesterday in your stream <laughs> yep um, <laughs> literally <laughs> uh but who who for you is who's an inspiration on tiktok uh who not necessarily that is unreachable but that like drives you and i mean maybe you've talked to them or something like that but who who's that guy for you burger 100 um 
the reason why is he was uh, one of the first people I followed on TikTok. Um, and I think he was one of the first people on TikTok um, to actually revolutionize the whole uh, gameplay face cam. Or, you know, I mean, like there's like the face cam at the bottom and like majority gameplay. He was the he was and, and maybe there was other people doing it before, like uh, Crusaders or whatever. But Burger 100 percent was the first Call of Duty creator to really revolutionize that style of um, content. And like for a while, I used to see him on my 40 page a lot, like all the time. Literally, anytime I go on my phone, pull it up. It's Burger right there. Um, and so I started following him. And he followed me back, and uh, it's been, I think we, it was like, we followed each other back in like March, I think, end of March, um, or maybe like middle of March. Um, but we've uh, we've been talking ever since, but he's, I would probably say he's definitely one of my like biggest, and we're good friends now, but um, your good friends can be your inspiration. And I would say Burger 100% um, inspired me to do my, you know, the layout of my TikToks, you know, gameplay face cam um and just kind of just kind of keep it going you know what i mean mm-hmm. um another inspiration uh maybe like sally i don't know sally he's a he's a funny dude uh lucci of course funny guy also um jack zilla uh he's a pretty cool dude too he mm-hmm. he kind of he inspired me to play a lot more search and destroy yeah um because before modern warfare i hardly ever played search only to like maybe get challenges done but the past couple of months I've only been doing search and destroy content and it's so much more fun. Like people, people complain about how boring modern warfare is, but just fire up search and destroy, get, you know, some viewers or get like, you know, a group of five, you know, five, six guys and run search and destroy. It is the, like the most fun I've had a call of duty in a very, very long time. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say those group of guys, but like the top person, definitely burger hundred percent. Yeah, I I really look up to Burger a lot. Um, I look up to Burger and Stan quite a bit because of the way that they carry themselves. Uh, yeah, I like Stan too. And what's cool about Stan, he doesn't do gameplay. He's yeah about like you know about that whole you know <laughs> the Warzone stuff and uh, the M thirteen. Oh man, I love Stan. Stan's a cool guy. I have his uh, goosh hat. Goosh. Oh, yeah. He sent yeah. it to me. <laughs> That's crazy. But uh, but yeah, no, I love Stan too. He, Stan's a cool guy. They're just the the way that those two carry themselves. Even even like pretty much everyone that you said and yeah, uh, like Lucci, all those guys, they carry themselves with this like really grounded. Like they're just they seem really authentic. Um, yeah, in a lot of and they ways. are for sure. Yeah. And uh, I I just having conversations with uh, Stan, I, I really realized that he was a super humble dude. Like, oh, he is. Um, he's has a really good story. Like he's behind him. And yeah. uh, his, dr- his drive for just content is like I've talked to him, you know, obviously like I've seen his videos and I've got to, you know, I've we have like a, a like a DM group uh, of a couple of people and uh being able to talk to him there he's definitely like a super like humble guy mm-hmm. and uh the stuff he goes through it's like being able to go through that and to be able to like still keep it positive and like just be a happy person um nah stan's a pretty respectful guy and then obviously burger too recently with his break um like twitch didn't feel the same like uh, i literally would just used to like watch twitch i after my streams burger was always live and he took that break and he wasn't there but I'm glad he, I'm obviously glad he's back, but yeah, those every all those guys are unique in their own way for sure. Yeah, yeah. So my like burger, he he's he said it like he said I'm super like analytical and I, yeah, I, like he just the way that he speaks, I feel like I just no matter what I had to listen because I felt like any time that it was super important and he, he has that about him. And I realized pretty much just now that that's the reason that the people gravitate towards him is, is because everything he says with any super serious. Yeah. Serious. But which is, which is, which is dope. No, I I like that. Obviously not. I like that about him. Uh, he's always never like never BSing or anything. He's, uh, always just like, yeah, 
serious and stuff, which is which is awesome. Um, it's like you relate to it more and stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the next upgrade to come to your stream? Are you are you going dual PC? Um, am I going dual PC? Um, I kind of want to, but I've heard problems with going dual PC to where you can't talk to people in game. And when I'm streaming, um, I talk to people in game. That's like the my main communication. Yeah. So yeah, PC is right. Yeah. I I don't know if I'm. I mean, like I I don't really want to go dual PC. Honestly, like I think I might just stick to. I mean, I have my PC now, but um, I want to definitely upgrade in the future in the next couple of months when uh, the cards go back on sale. Like they haven't gone on sale in a long time or in a little bit. Um, but I I, want, I think I might just stick to single PC for now, and then maybe like in the future I could just buy like a you know thousand dollar PC and just use it for like a dual like a dual setup or something. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I'm just rock, I'm just rocking single PC. It's worked pretty well. I mean, I noticed lag um, and things like that. I uh, when I stream, um, I noticed that when I stream, I get like 40 FPS less than what I usually get. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely like something going on there, but I a hundred percent. Yeah. I think I might just definitely going to upgrade in the, in the future for sure. Yeah. I think it's, uh, we're at a point now in technology that, uh, you, you could just pretty much, if you put all the money that you'd spend in a dual PC into a single PC, it's just as good yeah because what's the point if not probably better yeah yeah what's the point of having you know uh two mediocre pcs or like a, a slightly yeah. better than mediocre and then like a mediocre one like you yeah. might as well just go complete beef just go yeah but and the other thing is i don't have enough room in yeah. my room like i only have room just for the one pc um so that's another thing why i can't really go dual pc um and probably why i never will is because i just i don't have the room yeah well i sure. i really appreciate you coming on the podcast i appreciate a great talk sure man no it was dope um i mean hey i hope hope y'all i mean if anybody made it this far yeah hope y'all enjoyed listening um thanks for having me on i mean i've last time i was on a podcast it was it's been a pretty long time so it's definitely a good refresher um in case it happens again or something but uh yeah it was it was good talks man yeah. uh we went pretty deep in some stuff like especially the g-field stuff mm -hmm. um for sure uh it's it was uh it was good talks man thanks for having me on it was dope yeah well we'll we'll let some other things kind of happen in your life and then we'll touch back in 100 percent, baby yeah 100 percent. always welcome back on we'd love to have thanks you. dog um, hey people, thanks man people can find you on a lot of platforms youtube sure twitch yeah youtube twitch uh twitch.tv slash jack wacky uh youtube just literally look up wacky you'll find me there uh twitter is just wacky uh instagram is jack wacky tiktok is wacky underscore um y'all can find me there if you guys want to mm -hmm. pull up uh yeah so that's the end of the podcast uh everyone give wacky a farewell and we, I, I, thanks boys I, I really appreciate it i'm glad to see that you're doing well i'm thanks I'm, man i'm happy same to for see, you i'm yeah i'm really happy for you uh really proud of thanks, you man. and yeah i'll see you guys later peace out peace